Welcome to this uh, very short uh, video that we're going to do on the differences between law enforcement and special operations or teams outside the law enforcement venue. As you know, and as we talked about uh, in other videos, law enforcement has taken the lead in evidence collection. But there is a big difference between a law enforcement officer collecting evidence in the United States or in a host country around the world. And a special operations operator that is in theater collecting evidence or artifacts from a uh, site for either intelligence or evidence procedures. It's not about the evidence or the artifacts itself. It comes down to two very uh, clear concepts of difference between law enforcement and special operations. And this is the time and threat element. Law enforcement, which are traditional uh, law enforcement folks back in uh, your host country or United States, they have time and they have the resources and they have all of the things that they need to collect the crime scene correctly from beginning to the end, doing a grid search or a circular search or however they're doing their search, collecting every single bit of useful data from the crime scene for the prosecution to present a case. The difference here, or the, one of the things they don't have, is they don't have threat. There is no threat to a law enforcement officer that's collecting information or collecting data at a crime scene posed by a sniper, border rounds coming in, uh, someone running at him with a, uh, an IED you know, or, or a vehicle IED. Those are all things that add threat. Uh, tactical force coming towards you that uh, you're trying to avoid. Maybe you're doing surreptitious. Maybe you're in a country uh, where you're doing operations that they don't know about. These are all things that law enforcement in the United States don't have to deal with. You do. You have what's called time urgent processing. The bottom line of this is that you will not collect everything on a tactical crime scene. It's not possible for you to collect everything on a tactical crime scene. You don't have the time available that a law enforcement officer has in the United States. For example, let's say you have a, uh, your capital city in your country, you have a bomb go off and it, it blows up and kills 15 or 20 people in the plaza in front of your national capital. Law enforcement would, would attack that scene, every national agency would be there, and time would be irrelevant. They would be processing that scene probably for months. Take that same scenario, throw it into a tactical operation, you may have a national event, but you may not only, you may only have a limited amount of time to collect the information. In a bombing, you may have an hour, 30 minutes to collect all the information. So let's be realistic in our expectations. In your expectations of collecting in that environment, you're not going to collect all of the artifacts to support a, a legitimate prosecution. You're gonna be doing exigent circumstance collection. In other words, you're gonna do the best you can with the time you have following the priorities of your mission. This is where your priorities for your mission come in. If you're going out uh, to a target and your target is to collect a uh, SIM card with a specific number on the SIM card called an ICCID, which we'll talk about later, you're gonna need to then prioritize your collection on that target to collect that specific piece of information. So collecting fingerprints and doing blood and all the other things may have no relevance whatsoever. So in that time prior, that time constrained collection, 
you're going to now need to prioritize to those things that are specific to your mission's successful accomplishment. Law enforcement doesn't have that. And this again is the big difference between you and law enforcement is your time constraint uh, collection does not allow for a full-fledged um, investigation. The other thing is threat. So as you're going along and you are collecting information, you have a time mark. And in this time mark, you may have 45 minutes as uh, this graph explains. And the centered fulcrum, if it moves left, you have all the time in the world. But if it starts moving right, Look what happens to your time. You no longer have the time available that you thought you might, okay? You no longer have the information, or excuse me, you no longer have the uh, latitude to gather the information that you want to gather. There may be things left behind that you know might have intelligence value, but you may not have the opportunity to gather that information. And that just is, a, uh, will be a reality uh, in your world at some point. So again, the purpose of this is, is basically to give you a, a better understanding of when you're sitting in classes later on and you've got a law enforcement guy up there talking, you're going to have to listen to the procedures they're giving you because they're going to give you the, the base level procedures. This is how you do it in a perfect world. You're going to then take that understanding or that information and you're going to have to, have to back it up and prioritize it dissect it and say okay how do we now do this still collecting everything that's valuable in this artifact without causing any damage to the artifact or losing intelligence and oh by the way protecting the team at the same time and these are things you're going to have to put into place and these are going to be your challenges um, as operators in, in the theater, okay? So, look at how you plan to attack your scene. Look at how you plan, this is all gonna come back in your preparation stage. What is collectible and what is uncollectible? Those are two things that you're gonna have to determine. Uh, where law enforcement doesn't have that type of uh, decision-making process. They don't have to determine what is collectible and what is uncollectible. Okay. Everything in law enforcement basically should be collectible. In your world, you're going to have to have very clean and clear identifications. And we're going to talk more as we talk about imaging, and we talk about the collection of evidence, um, the benchmarking of your computers, and making sure that your tools work at the speed that you think they're going to work at. With that, uh, we'll go ahead and close this up with just a real quick uh, uh, conclusion, and that is law enforcement, they have time, they have resources, and they have no threat. You have no time, limited resources, and a threat. You cannot process the same way in both environments. It just can't happen. What you're gonna to have to do is identify how to collect, how to properly collect, and merge that with how do I do that in a time constrained environment. And we are gonna work you, walk you through in the intermediate course, the advanced course. We're gonna take you through how we suggest you do that. Uh, we're gonna give you some frameworks. Um, as you can see this uh, very lengthy chart back behind me. Uh, the workflow that I did when I was in Kabul uh, for the efficient collection of cell phones in different scenarios, uh, different time constraints, uh, collection periods. So with that, I uh, hope you enjoy the rest of this module and uh, I will see you in our next video.